I am looking for a fair process, yeah. a process where I can defend my integrity and clear my name. And all I'm asking for is fairness and that I be heard. This morning, Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh on the record to deny multiple sexual misconduct allegations levied against him. The nominee sat down for an extensive interview with Fox News with his wife Monday night defending himself and his character. Republicans say the allegations are politically motivated, including President Trump, who says Democrats are working to destroy Kavanaugh. CBS 4's Laura Podesta has the latest on the allegations. No, I've never sexually assaulted anyone. Not in high school, not ever. Last night, Brett Kavanaugh went on Fox News and made a rare public statement for a Supreme Court nominee. He defended himself against sexual misconduct allegations. And I'm not going to let false accusations drive me out of this process. Christine Blasey Ford says Kavanaugh held her down and groped her in high school. Both of them are slated to go before the Senate on Thursday. I am not questioning and have not questioned that perhaps Dr. Ford at some point in her life was sexually assaulted by someone in some place. But what I know is I've never sexually assaulted anyone. Kavanaugh spoke out one or, day after the New Yorker magazine published a claim by a second woman, Deborah Ramirez. She says he exposed himself to her during a drinking game at a party when they were both freshmen at Yale University. In my opinion, it's totally political. It is totally political. President Trump seemed to dismiss the allegations against Kavanaugh. On Capitol Hill and at Yale Law School, Democratic senators joined protesters to demand an FBI investigation. Anyone going through this process, I would expect to go through a fair and impartial uh, confirmation hearing, and that's not what's happening. GOP leaders are promising a quick vote on Kavanaugh after Thursday's hearing. Laura Podesta, CBS News. And Mike Lovinati, the lawyer for Stormy Daniels, says he also has a client who will come forward this week with new claims against Kavanaugh.